Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jocelyn and for today's topic, I'm going to discuss what to expect from the new administration regarding the travel protocols in the Philippines. But before we get started, please like this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I always welcome new subscribers. On July 19, the DOH or Department of Health in the Philippines announced that it will reconstitute interagency task force member agencies and those with relevant functions will be retained. This was announced by the Malacanang Palace regarding the member agencies of the interagency task force. The palace said that the DOH will streamline interagency task force meetings and processes with clear directives to assist in safe reopening and will be utilizing the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council platform. The platform will replace the National Task Force against COVID-19 to integrate it with the regular processes, Palace said. This will allow the IATF health expert groups to continue their work as they serve as the voice of science in the country, it added. It was also announced that President Marcos will retain COVID-19 alert system in the Philippines. He agreed to retain the current COVID-19 alert level system in the country as the DOH vote to come up with new alert level classification by mid-August. According to Marcos, the new health restriction classification needs to be more compatible with the current milder strains that afflict the patients. He said, to avoid confusion, we will retain the alert level system for now. We are, however, thinking we are studying very closely and will come to a decision very soon as to decoupling the restrictions from the alert levels. DOH, health officer in charge, could come up with a new alert level classification by the second week of August. She added that experts project that if eligible individuals do not get vaccinated, the country will witness increased hospitalizations by September. First, let me provide an easy to understand Philippine travel system. Many are asking where to find the official government announcement for international travel purposes. There's what we call an interagency task force, which is composed of different government agencies. They issue resolutions on entry requirements of Filipinos and non-Filipinos, including quarantine rules. The resolutions are published in the Official Gazette of the Philippines. The Bureau of Immigration in the Philippines secures the Philippine border and implements immigration rules, and they issue press releases on their official website. The Department of Foreign Affairs provides local and foreign services through the Philippine consulates and embassies abroad, all Philippine consulates and embassies abroad are under the jurisdiction of the DFA. For overseas Filipino workers, you can find the information through the Overseas Workers Welfare Administration. There are other sources of information, such as the Philippine Airlines website, especially for passengers of Philippine Airlines, and there are also official announcements from government agencies through their social media platforms. There is now a simplified registration for the One Health Pass. However, all family members, you must register individually. So make sure that you have a valid email address. All passengers must register within 72 hours prior to departure. It means prior to first flight if you have a connecting flight. Please also be aware of a fake website collecting money. The One Health Pass is a free website. This is the actual website. And then when you reach the dashboard, just click OK. Fully vaccinated passengers do not need to quarantine. If you are a foreign national, you must be fully vaccinated. Also, Filipinos do not need to be vaccinated. Please take note that if you register earlier than 72 hours, you won't be allowed to register. Please take note that unvaccinated foreign nationals, including former Filipino citizens, will be denied entry except foreign minor child or children. 
Now, who needs to be fully vaccinated to enter Philippines? All foreign nationals must be fully vaccinated, such as foreign tourists, former Filipino citizens, foreign spouse, and foreign child. For those who are asking if Cebu, Philippines is accepting unvaccinated foreign nationals, some foreign nationals were able to get in unvaccinated. However, there are some foreign nationals who were denied entry. For all Filipinos and foreign nationals entering Philippines, including former Filipino citizens, there will be no pre-departure negative test for the following passengers. Those who are 18 years and above, who are fully vaccinated and received at least one booster shot. Also, 12 to 17 years of age who are fully vaccinated, but no booster shot is required. For 11 years and below, regardless of vaccination status accompanied by parent who is fully vaccinated and with booster shot. Also, there will be no pre-departure negative test for children below 3 years old. So that means all children 2 years old and below do not need a negative pre-departure test. So these are the only ones exempted from pre-departure test. If you are a foreign tourist coming from the U.S., you don't need a visa because Nationals of countries included under Executive Order Number 408 and U.S. is included from the specific list of countries, you will be given a 30 days visa-free stay in the Philippines. You don't need to pay for the visa and the visa will be granted to you upon arrival. So please take note that travel insurance requirement has been eliminated effective may 30 so at this time philippines is no longer requiring travel insurance from passengers going to the philippines if you are fully vaccinated at least one booster shot is enough to waive pre-departure testing to travel in the philippines for booster shot booster shot shall refer to doses administered to a vaccinated population that has completed a primary vaccination series when with time vaccine effectiveness has fallen below a rate deemed sufficient in that population as indicated in the EUA or emergency use authorization issued by the FDA. Only one booster shot is required for you to be exempted from the pre-departure negative test. However, please confirm with your airline if the booster shot need to be taken 14 days before your travel date. However, booster shot should be effective immediately, but please confirm with your airline so you can be exempted. Here are the requirements for former Filipino citizens or Balik Bayans. If you are traveling alone, here are the specific requirements. First, if you have a booster shot and you are 18 years and above, you must be fully vaccinated. You must possess an acceptable proof of vaccination. Also, you must have a passport. Your foreign passport must be valid for at least six months and also must register to the One Health Pass. And there will be no pre-departure testing required for those who have booster shot. For former Filipino citizens, without a booster shot and you are 18 years and above, you must be fully vaccinated. You must possess an acceptable proof of vaccination. In addition, you must have a passport valid for at least six months at the time of arrival, register to the One Health Pass, and you must present a negative RT-PCR test within 48 hours or negative antigen test within 24 hours. Here are the requirements for minor children. Booster shot is not required for minor children. If you have a foreign child, there is a visa-free entry if the country is included under EO408. For vaccinated minor 12 to 17, no pre-departure testing required. For unvaccinated 12 to 17, negative test within 48 hours or negative antigen test within 24 hours. If unvaccinated, parent must accompany child. Passport must be valid for at least six months. For foreign spouse traveling with Filipino or former Filipino 18 years and above, 
with booster shot. No visa is required if you are a national from a country included under EO408. Also, you must be fully vaccinated. You must possess an acceptable proof of vaccination. Your foreign passport must be valid for at least six months. Also, you must register through the One Health Pass. And also, if you have a booster shot, there will be no pre-departure testing required. For those foreign spouse traveling with Filipino or former Filipino without booster shot, you must be fully vaccinated. You must possess an acceptable proof of vaccination. Also, you must have a passport valid for at least six months. Also, you must have a One Health Pass registration. In addition, you must have a pre-departure negative test, RT-PCR test within 48 hours or negative test or negative antigen test within 24 hours. For foreign nationals who are tourists or possess a 9A visa, and this can also be applicable for foreign spouse traveling alone without a booster shot, you must be fully vaccinated, you must possess an acceptable proof of vaccination, you must have a passport valid for at least six months at the time of arrival, you must have a return or onward ticket not later than 30 days, or for the duration of your visa, you must also have a negative RT-PCR test or negative antigen test. You must also register through the One Health Pass. For 18 years old and above, with booster shot, you must be fully vaccinated. You must have acceptable proof of vaccination. Passport valid for at least 6 months at the time of arrival. You must have a return or onward ticket not later than 30 days or those with a 90 visa for the duration of stay in the Philippines. Also, you must have a One Health Pass registration. Other foreign nationals with valid Philippine visas. If you have a booster shot, you must be fully vaccinated. You must have acceptable proof of vaccination. Also, you must have a passport valid for at least six months. Also, return ticket is not required. Travel insurance is also not required, but you must have one health pass registration. For those foreign nationals with valid visas without a booster shot fully vaccinated you must possess proof of vaccination also you must have a passport valid for at least six months in addition you must have a negative rt-pcr test within 48 hours or negative antigen test within 24 hours and you must also register through the one health pass if you have any other questions or comments, please post them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Again, thank you guys for supporting my channel and if you haven't liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I always welcome new subscribers. Thank you guys for watching. I hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day.